welcome to the Thamesman. Welcome, welcome. I'm Alex. Hello. You are? I'm Jordan. Sorry. I'm Jordan. <laughs> I'm Jordan. I'm Jordan. I'm Jordan. Hello, Alex. How are we you? Like, good. We look like a bunch of priests. Hello. <laughs> Blessed, yeah, exactly. Blessed, blessed are the cheesemakers. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back to this. So uh, the premise of this is my friend who I've known for years. Uh, we always talk about music. We love music and we try and trip each other up and give a track that we haven't heard before. And uh, it's fantastic. So, you know, what have you got for me tonight? Ah, well, this one's this is a track. This is a track. You, you will know this song. I know you will know this song because it has been, I think it's been inducted into the Blues Hall of Fame. And, mm. But we can talk about that later. But anyway, so this version- though, You can actually induct a song rather than the band. Maybe, I, I do, right. yeah, I have, okay. maybe. Yeah, well, yeah. But, well, there again, I mean, blues, it's what, you know, 12 bar blues, it's a, a formula. I mean, you know, it's either gonna be EFD or whatever, or it's gonna be, you know, CFG. You, you tell me at the end, people. And uh, but anyway, it, this one is a classic, which has and actually has a has a reference to you personally at one point. But we'll come. It's, it, it, does he or she start singing about the Adonis on the hill? No, no. <laughs> no not at all. All, no, the, no. all the creep in the mill. <laughs> it's something that kept in Finally. one day and no anyway so 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 anyway let's get on with this all right we'll okay about... so, so yep. the band yeah. is the amboy dukes okay the amboy song, dukes amboy dukes and, and the, the song, song is uh, a baby please don't go say goodbye for a couple of minutes and i'll see you on the flip side enjoy all right thank you very much ciao all right uh the amboy dukes baby please don't go i don't know what the amboy dukes i've never heard but baby please don't go reminds me straight away before i listen to it to van morrison but please don't go is it that here we go three two one yeah with a nice bit of feedback That bass is exactly the same as that one.
to do that with a guitar. Oh, oh man. Would you rather play guitar or the bass? Please don't go. Great, it was great. Let's bring George back in. That that was fierce, dude. That was <laughs> great. I mean, like the jam in there. Uh, what came first, that track or the Van Morrison track? Ah, I see. Now this is the history of it. This this song has more history than you can shake a stick at. To be honest with you, so so originally, so so okay. I got to ask you a question. Yeah. Do you know what the connection to you is? No, there was one riff in there, riff in there that I recognised, but I thought it was a Hendrix riff. No, I know. So okay, well, okay, but, well, I'm gonna go, go, go. So the reason this song has been covered by many, many people, right? Ten years after, did a version of this. What a baby, please don't go. Only so. I haven't heard it, but I, I have read it that 10 years after. For those who don't know, Alex has a familial relationship with 10 years after. I do, I do, so, I do, so I do. I do. My, my dad's in the band. The And um, to anyone who's in England, you've never heard of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> and and they're one of the best blues right. bands out there. But, anyway, that's, that's, <laughs> but anyone that's in America, that's good. But no, I've never good. heard it myself. I've actually never heard, uh, never okay. heard it myself. Okay, so this song was first recorded in 1935. No. And it was uh, by a Delta blues man. Yeah, Big Joe Williams, apparently. Um, but your question, going back to your question, was that them, with Van yeah. Morrison, did the version of it. And, and at the time, do you know who a session guitarist was for them? Was Jimmy Page. No, really, because um, pa Page Page did sessions everywhere. Or well, that's all he was was the session guitarist. For and so he years. he was probably the rhythm guitarist on on when them did it. And Van Morrison, I think he was like nineteen years old or something. And then I've so, got friends. I live in uh, for no one to know this, but I live in just outside San Francisco, and I've got friends over just on the way who li who actually own Van Morrison's old house as well. Yeah. They live it's, in it's all connected. The whole thing's connected. That's all man. connected. But I knew, but, 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 that, but, but, I knew but, but, that them or Van Morrison. I knew. I mean, like he is. He's an old fart. I know that he was really early in. I mean, like you know. So I, I didn't know which came first. But if you said it goes all the way back to thirty eight. 35, I think it was, but 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 prior to that, it was like a, a sort of a, a blues standard based on other things. But but anyway, that's beside the point. But so anyway, so them did it as a, a you know in in um, 
early on. Um, and then the Amboy Dukes, who were from Detroit, did the version of it based on the them version of it, because right. like, the opening rift apparently is very similar, but then it changes. And do you know who the lead guitarist of, of Amboy Dukes was? He was good. And I was trying to work out if he was playing on a Strat or if he was playing on a Les Paul. Uh, he wow. was good. He was good. He was good. Uh, I think, I think... He, he's, he's turned into a bit of a caricature, but he you will know him. It was Ted Nugent. Really? It was the Nuge. That was the Nuge. Ted wow. Nugent's early wow. stuff. Was, well, that that was, was, when, that he was, was when he was a good. howling rocker. That was really, 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 really good. But there was also in there... Well, when was this recorded? Uh, 67, this one, I think it was. Well, then they did a, they licked a, a nicked a riff off Hendrix, I think, um, and did a nod to it in that. Just yes, because, because Hendrix, Hendrix was Detroit as well, originally. And I can't remember what track it was. And if anyone can remember, if anyone heard it, I, I, I spotted it uh, and I said, that's a Hendrix riff. Tell me what it was. And because I, I, I can't at the moment link it, whatever, but. Jesus, I mean, like, Hey Joe, uh, Hendrix song was an old, old, old blues song from back, well, all, you know what I mean? All songs come forward. around again, don't they? They all have a second, multiple lives, don't they? They do, they, they have, you know, I mean, apparently Hey Joe was a really old, just traditional blue that he, you know, the blues that he, so, and it sounds like this is one of those songs that just, keep, and I'm surprised that um, uh, it hasn't been done by, what's that lady from, you know, who did Horses, um, you know? Uh, Patty Smith? Yeah, she. I'm so oh, that's a great track. There's a Patty Smith Nirvana track I should pull up one day. Oh, it's one of my. No, my no, no, no. Patty Smith Gloria. Oh, Gloria. That, that, oh, my even, God. Even even better. Even and so I would have thought Patty Smith would have done a, a really good Probably version. She actually owned. She actually owned a Gloria song. I think that when she did it, you know. Yeah. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Have you heard her Nirvana song? I have. I have. Oh, so brilliant. I can't do that. I can't surprise you with that one then. That's... You can pretend and I'll just like, I pretend to know Fake it. about it, you know, but it won't <laughs> be authentic. You know? Great. I really appreciate that. And that was, uh, that was fierce. That was really good, you know. All right. So let's rate it in a whole spectrum of things, you know, 10 being a banger, one being a wanger. Um, <laughs> where I, would you I, place I, I tell you. Yeah, you go, because I know this track. You're first. You're the one who's reviewing it. I'm just here to... to if it was it. just a straight uh, Nuggets track from the LA blues rock garage scene, um, and I would have thought, yeah, that's a, a, you know, that is a nugget on the track, and, you know, that I would have given that, you know, definitely a seven. But now you've talked about the whole history of everything, and, you know, the new gym was on there and everything, and everything then it's got a place in, in music history. So it, it's, it's higher, you know. I mean, 10 obviously is off the charts and nine's in the greatest of songwriters. So, you know, this is, this is you know, 8.5, between 8, 8.5 for me. It's we great. Like a new scale. Maybe the scale should be like 100 to, to, to one. And then you could have all these little bits, but. Uh, but then I'd, but then anyway, I'd go 100, and then, and then, but then I'll make, then you'd be like 88.5, wouldn't you? Well, then yeah, I'll just make it louder. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I appreciate that. That was fantastic. And the band, who was that again? Who, I've got to write Amboy, Amboy Jukes. Amboy Jukes. Amboy Jukes. Amboy Jukes. 1967. Were you alive then? Great. Were Only just. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's no. that's my that's my year, mate. I know, I know. It's why I brought it up. You are yeah. Amboy Jukes. <laughs> Except they've aged better. All right. Oh. <laughs> Take care. We'll catch you later. See you. Adios. Bye bye. It's back.